I am happy that this time around we are having a conversation about not debt, but taxes. That, that is significant improvement. We have, we have moved away from how much, tax, how much debt we are accumulating to how much tax we are paying. I think that is, uh, we are in the right place. We are having the right conversation. And it is because I did commit to the country that we are going to begin the journey to win ourselves from living beyond our means, living within our budgets. If we must cut down on our budgets so that we can live within our means and avoid the slippery path towards accumulating debts, instead have the conversation not about how much debt we are accumulating, but about how, many, how much taxes we are paying. And we are well in that conversation as we talk. The undeniable credit for our sustainable economic resilience and continued ability to meet our local and international obligations, provide services and invest in economic transformation goes to taxpayers who have remained outstanding in their commitment to the strength of our economy, well-being of the people, and sustainable development of our country. We celebrate all our taxpayers today. I know we will celebrate those who have done very well, but we must also celebrate all those who have made their contribution to where we are today. I urge all Kenyans to respect and honor those among us who perform their part in supporting national development by voluntarily paying their taxes and encourage those who have not to register and obtain KRA personal identification numbers and join the ranks of our patriotic mashuja who keep the wheels of our development in motion by paying their part of taxes. As always, I remain committed to lead from the front on this matter of great national importance to pay my taxes when they fall due and submit my tax return on time as is required. I will continue to lead from the front and expect everybody to walk in that, in that journey. I must also commend all the actors uh, in this space. I know, for example, in the education sector, we have made a huge commitment. In fact, because of the centrality of education as an equalizer, and because of the importance of our human capital as the biggest resource, most important resource we have as a nation, we have focused extensively on funding education. If you compare last year, the education budget last year was 545 billion. This year, including what we have factored in in the supplementary that is now in parliament, it is improving from 545 billion to 690 billion a whole 145 billion additional money for our education. And this is deliberate. It is deliberate because we believe every child in Kenya should have a chance at life by making sure that they have access to education. Our budget to TSC has increased by about 20 billion because we are hiring additional teachers. 56,000 teachers are on our payroll, additional teachers this year. We are, we are increasing the money going to our universities by a whole 48 billion. So what I see in the horizon is an improved human capital that we have developed the money that is supposed to go to 
our Tibets and our universities and uh, the space outside TSC is about this year 252 billion. Last year it was 204 billion. So in just that space, we are increasing by 48 billion that is going to go into that space. And already, contrary to reports all over the place, we have released 62 billion out of that uh, 252 billion. And I want to commit to the country that we are committed, we are serious, we are determined to make sure that we fund our education appropriately, contrary to what we have seen in the past, where universities were languishing in debt and were completely unable to deliver on their mandate. The Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Finance will ensure that we educate all our children. It is a commitment that we have made. It is a commitment we intend to keep. I want to congratulate all the exemplary taxpayers who have been recognized under various categories. Your work is admirable and your contribution historic and transformative. Well done to all of you who are being recognized today. Keep it up and let us see you again next year performing better. And for those of us who are not in this category, let us strive so that we are in this category next year. I want to ask KRA to think about the scripture. There was a lady who gave an offering of, uh, I think it was two cents. And Jesus said she had given the most because she gave everything she had. So I think consider the smaller guys who give 100% of what is due from them. It may be small. It may be small, but they have done 100% of what, they, uh, what is due from them. Maybe these big boys, maybe they are doing 80% of what is due. I'm not saying that's the case. I'm just saying maybe, I'm just making a proposition. So let's look at the small people also who make their, who meet their obligation and give 100% of their taxes. Let me encourage all of us that what KRA is doing is not about KRA, it's about us. It is our responsibility, all of us as Kenyans, to make sure that each one of us pays tax. I got a very interesting uh, message yesterday from a patriotic Kenyan, and I sent it to the Commissioner General of KRA yesterday. Siulipata Bwana Watanga, you know? about a Kenyan who is saying, look, there is this company here who don't pay tax and they threaten people because it, you know, there are some big people, it belongs to some senior guys. And so I send uh, uh, the, the uh, contact to the KRA CG and I told him, However big, however senior, however powerful the owners of that company, they must pay tax like all other Kenyans. And that nobody should threaten KRA using their positions, using their connections, using their power for them to avoid paying tax. We must all pay tax. And once we are paid tax, let us demand from government that our taxes are used in the proper manner, they are not stolen, they are not corruptly used, they are used in the proper manner. I am really looking for that day when we all pay tax and demand from government that that tax is used properly. We have given a target to KRA of three trillion this year. 
I know it is achievable. I know it's doable. And next year, I know we can do four trillion. I am looking at the day when we will not have any fiscal deficits. And it is not too far from now. Because if everybody paid their bid, we would not need all the fiscal deficits that we have, if everybody paid their bid. There is still a lot of money out there. There are still many people who are not paying tax. Slowly but surely we will speak to them, we will talk to them, we will encourage them, we will work with them until we all pay tax. That's all we need to do. The rest can be achieved. So, um, and as I have said, it doesn't have to be punitive. It doesn't, amount to, it doesn't have to amount to harassment, but we must be firm, we must be decisive, and everybody must keep their part of the bargain. And that is my encouragement to all of us as, uh, as Kenyans, um, that our independence, our sovereignty, is when we can manage our own affairs, when we can meet all our obligations, when we can pay for all the services that are due to us and fund all that we need in Kenya. And I am, I am very confident that that is doable if we do this together. Um, we will continue to work with all the other stakeholders. We will continue to uh, leverage on technology. Uh, I'm very happy with what I see around the technology space. The taxes that are now being collected using technology, as I said earlier, we are looking at up to 400% increase in, uh, in taxes that are being collected using technology. Progressively, as we digitize government services, as we make sure that all other avenues of government are coming on the digital space, I am very confident that we will collect all the taxes that are due to um, the government of Kenya, and we will all benefit from the use of those taxes, and we will begin the journey to wean ourselves out of um, the appetite for debt uh, all over the place. Let me also say that we are making significant progress with our diplomatic relations, engagement with our development partners, engagement with multi, uh, um, multilateral development uh, banks. We are making a lot of uh, progress with our DFIs, the engagement between government of Kenya and the understanding of what is required of us and what our obligations are and what our commitments are are very progressive. I want to commend Treasury for leading the way, working with our multilateral development partners, working with our bilateral development partners to make sure that we secure the interests of Kenya and make sure that we are pushing on our progress. And um, I am very confident that that space is being managed very well under the leadership of Professor Ndungu and his team, and all the people in that space. Uh, and continuously, they will engage with the different ministries to make sure that we project the right image of Kenya and we manage our resources and affairs um, in a way that is transparent, accountable, and in a progressive manner so that we can unlock the huge potential that exists in our country. I want to tell every Kenyan listening to me that we have a great country. And this country is going to go places. I am very confident we are going to transform Kenya into a country where all of us will feel confident and all of us will be proud to be Kenya. That is the commitment that I make to everybody here. And each and every one of us, as I said yesterday, 
must pull their weight. There are opportunities out there. There are opportunities we are rolling out. We want every Kenyan to uh, calibrate their place, make their contribution, look at the opportunities that are available, appropriate those opportunities so that each and every one of us can make a contribution to taking Kenya forward um, and, and work with whatever interventions we are, working, uh, we are working on as government to take our country forward. So thank you very much. God bless you all. And uh, God bless our great country, Kenya. Asante and